Ladies and gentlemen, it is your lovely host here. Once again, it is Team Mara. Now, have you watched the very first video of the day? If not, go check it out, people. Anyway, I do have social media accounts. I'll discuss that part after this part of the video is over. Now, once again, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe you want to look at the and hear my thoughts, my opinions, and the subject. And, of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. This one, there will be a... um. An article. Let's get into this. Now, do you guys like the match between Bret the Hitman Hart and Stoke Cold Steve Austin? I think WrestleMania 13, this is the match. It was at Rosemont Horizon, way before they changed over to the All State Arena. I think this is the match they were talking about. And I think this is the one that you know, it was a um, double turn, I think. I really like this match. Great chemistry. And love it, love it, love it. You know? Do you guys love this match? Or not like this match? I love this match. Now, the question I have for you. Now, if Austin and Bret Hart was in this today's modern WWE, do you think it will work or not work? Because it would be the PG era. Do you think it will work or not work? I don't know, because, you know, Austin loves to cuss a lot, drink beer, and do the middle fingers on, on you know, Raw back in the day. If he was, have a rivalry with Bret Hart, will that work in today's modern WWE? Yes or no? That's the question. That is a major question. I'm talking about if Bret Hart was... Young, like you know, in his decent age, not now. I'm talking about you know, what I'm saying if those two guys, you know, the Hall of Famers wrestle in today's modern era, okay, but they were in their youth, you know, what I'm saying in their in their prime, you know, what I'm saying I think that'd be a good, good, um, a match still, but probably. W will not allow Austin to do the middle finger, or maybe he will because he'll he'll be with W for many many years. You know, Austin, Bret Hart. I love Bret Hart. Great chemistry. I love that match. So, <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna do the best I can to, to discuss this during. Sorry, during a deep discussion, the Calvary's son, son, the WWE Hall of Famer Bret Hart. The Bret Hit Hitman Hart talked about his original WWE specialty. Oh, he talked about his moves, I think. His finish move. You guys can read it. Now, do you like his finishing move? Or do you like um, Austin's finishing move, the stunner? They both are deadly. But I think um, Bret Hart is more deadlier because he, he could tap out his opponent. I don't know if Bret Hart... His whole entire wrestling career has ever pinned his opponent. If so, probably way before he joined the WF. I think I'm not too sure. This guy has some great matches. Bret Hart, a lot of great memories, a lot of great feuds. I love it. You know, I really wish he won the Rumble, but he never did. He was in the Rumble. I mean, he had like a championship match, but he never won the Rumble. Maybe he has no desire of back then win the Rumble for him. And can you just imagine if they had a money bank back in the day when he was like back in the 90s? That would be epic. All those great athletes. And then Austin, he had a lot of great rivalries. Holy cow. I can't even, you know, there's a lot of them. You know, you got, you got Bret Hart, you got Shawn Michaels. You got um, the NWO, but that NWO version was was good, but not as good as the WCW version. So he had a lot of great rivalries, a lot of great moments. Of course, the big one, in my opinion, is the Vince McMahon rivalry. Same thing with um, Bret Hart. He had a great rivalry, with, especially with Vince, you know, the screw job. I wish that never happened, you know. And I would really wish Bret Hart didn't, never went to WCW. A couple of days ago, it was his anniversary of signing with WCW. That was a stupid decision on Bret Hart. And he should work it out with Vince. But 
I guess money talks and you know the rest of it. I wish he stayed with his WWE. WF slash W until he's done with wrestling, but he finally came back back in 2010, patched things up with with um, HBK, and uh, I saw the match between him and Vince. I thought it would be a great match. It was a train wreck. I'm sorry, two old guys can't even cut the mustard anymore, and that's why they, they decided back in the day make it a no disqualification that kind of match because it was very hard to watch that match. I'm sorry. And then for Austin, he's a Hall of Famer, won the Rumble a few times, won a lot of championships. He had a lot of great robberies, like I said, The Rock and Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels, a lot of great robberies. Um, Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, um, Bulldog, Owen Hart. Razor Ramon, Diesel. So who do you think had a better rivalry with his, their opponents? Do you think Bret Hart had better rivalries with his opponents? Or do you think Stone Cold Steve Austin had better rivalries with his opponents when he was wrestling? I'm just wondering. Who do you think had better rivalries with their opponents? I'm just wondering. So all that good stuff. And I, lo I love Bret Hart's belt back in the day of WF. I, I wish they brought it back. But it's not going to happen. And then... Austin has the same belt as Bret Hart back in the day. I love that belt. The Eagle belt. That's awesome. So, um, you can check out all this information if you're wondering. The only time I ever saw Bret Hart versus his brother was SummerSlam 94. It was a long match, but it was worth it. You know, the classic um, Blue Cage. They don't do it more for some reason. Maybe because it's time-consuming to put up the cage during the show, now these days, they bring the cage down from the ring. They don't do that too often, but when they do, it's easy peasy. That match was awesome. Summertime 94 at Chicago, the very first event at the United Center. Home of the Bulls and home of the Blackhawks. I really wish they give Brad Hart, I'm um, no, sorry, I really wish they give Owen Hart the title at the SummerSlam, but he, it never happened. The only thing he ever won, I think the tag team, Intercom Belt, King of Ring, and that's it. I think he won the, the WF title, but it was non title wise. So that's not, that sucks. And it's not on the W Peacock, and it's not on the W Network, that match. You know, it's, it's like a um, um, Lumber uh, Jack match I saw. I don't, I think it was a. Tape, tape event. If you guys want to talk about, let me know down below. Do you wish that Owen Hart should have become the WF champion back in the day? I don't know why. Maybe WWE has no desire to give him the belt, the main belt. So that's all I gotta say. I'm sorry I don't go a lot of information on this article. You could check that out. Yeah, it was WrestleMania 13 between him and between him and um Austin. Great match, great rivalry. Build up to that match. So that's all I gotta say. Everyone out there, have a good one. Now, like, subscribe, leave a comment, hit the notification, hit the subscribe. Um, follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok. Uh, my Facebook page will be down below. If you wanna be part of the Raw Show in the future, DM me, and you and I can make arrangements for a future episode. Enjoy the rest of your uh, Thursday, and peace out. Thanks for watching.